a lot of people do not understand. Why it's so troubling dealing with women or men. Some people think it's because they're ugly. Some people think because they got kids. Some people think because they're gross. I mean, people think a lot of things. But this is the number one truth about why it's hard for you to deal with other women or deal with women as four men, right? Even though uh, somebody doing a woman or man wrong should make them do the next person wrong, that's just not the way everybody's built, y'all. Y'all gotta understand this. Some people will allow people of their past to affect their blessing in the future. Then you got some people who don't even care about love. They don't even want love. They don't even want, when I say love, they don't want a significant other. Or if they do, they want that and they want their cake too, right? Y'all know how I go out here, man. You got a lot of females who tried love when they was younger got burned, right? So now they start playing the game. It's no longer about love. In their eyes, I already tried love, it didn't work. Fuck love, I'm gonna get these niggas for all I can get. What can I get out of these niggas? Her heart is destroyed, it's over. Unless you go to the doctor, AKA the most high God. Until then, Satan got her heart. And Satan's going to use that woman as a tool. And the same thing can be said vice versa with men. The reason why men are doing women wrong and not wanting to be with one woman and all this crazy shit because they got burned. And since they got burned by somebody in the past, now that they uh, feel like they don't ever want to feel that way, so the only way to avoid that is not to get close to a woman, which means just deal with a lot of women, basically. They might have been legit men at one point, but somebody hurt them. I've been hurt, but I still desire to be with one woman. But I can't say at, at a point in my life that I didn't feel like, you know, like wanting to be the, the so-called bad guy, right? I think everybody crosses that crossroad to where, are you going to be a bad guy or, or a bad girl or a good one? I guess people feel since I got burned, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth love. I'm not loving these girls because they don't love. Or I'm not loving these guys because they don't love. And for the most part, people are right. That's the crazy part about it. I don't blame players, female and male players, for doing what they're doing. I just think they need to keep that shit over there. Within their selves. Play each other. You want to be a player? Play each other. Leave the people who are actually looking for love alone. But you know why they can't do that? If you're a person looking, trying to find that significant other, you know why they can't leave you alone? Because you are the most beneficial. If a male player deals with a female player is difficult because they both understand the game and they both recognize game because they use game and run game, right? So it's not going to work as effectively on a person that's actually trying to love somebody. If I'm a fleet female player, what can you get out of me, really? Nah, I'm, I want your bag, nigga. I'm a bad bitch. Pay my rent. If I'm a male player, what can you really get out of him? He just wants to smack not saying every man that just wants to smash you is a player but I mean you can label him a player if, if he's not trying to be your significant other basically he's in the player category that's how you should look at it even if he's not a player you know but still so this is what's going on man and that's why I don't like when 
when men get mad, well, I when, put it like this. When I when I make videos about what women do, the only ones that really get mad is the male players on the men's side. It's the male players. It's not the good guys. You know why? Because the good guys want to hear the videos I'm saying because they don't understand the dirt the the bad women do as much as players do because players recognize players like a team because they are each other. So this is why I don't like when women defend all other women. Like you know these women are bad. And matter of fact, these bad women are actually making it. They're part of the reason why men are trying to play you. So while you're defending them, you need to realize why men are like, you know what, I just want to just play all women. I, I don't give a fuck about them. Because they're all the same. They all just playing. That's because he ran into a lot of bad women. But then women defend these bad women. They are not your friends. Bad women envy good white women. They wish they could be you. They don't have the heart to be you no more. They can't even pair bond no more because they've been with so many men. They can't love no more if they try to. They love somebody at one point and, and, it, and it just didn't work out for them. And then they they, they took the crossroad of going back, man. But back to what I was saying about how players cannot benefit as much from players. Like, sometimes a player can play a player, depending on the level of the game, right? But for the most part, they're going to go after people who want to love because they understand that that person is going to be willing to be more beneficial because they're actually trying to be with somebody and give their all to somebody. They understand the male and the female player is not doing that. So why the fuck would I go over there? So the, my, my point is, if you are a good woman, men and female players are coming after you. You're, they, you're their main prime source. Think about it. If I'm a male player, am I going to go after the woman cash out, nigga, if you want some pussy? Or a woman that's looking for love and all I got to do is say I love her or some shit. Whatever players do to get pussy for women. Which one you think they're going to go after? Come on, that's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer, man. So, even though I wish players would just keep their shit over there, I have no problem with players. A lot of my male friends are basically players. They like to sleep around. It is what it is. But I'm a leader. I don't have to follow they. I don't have to follow them. I don't agree with it at all, really. I mean, I might talk shit about, like, sex or whatever. Like, yeah, smash or whatever, I smash her or whatever, talk shit. But as far as, like, sleeping around, I don't agree with that. And they know that. And sometimes my videos might offend them, even though I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm just trying to attack the problems in the world. You know what I'm saying? So don't get offended about my videos. If the truth hurts and you don't like it, fix it. If a woman says something about men and that and it hurt me, like, damn. Let me, let me fix it then. You know what I'm saying? If that's that's all there is to it. I'm going to fix it. But you do not deserve to be hurt by a man or woman because of what other women or men have done to them. And that's what's going on. This is why the majority of the time the men you come across or the women you come across are dealing with other people and they playing a game and they don't want love. We live in an era where motherfuckers will only love themselves. I'm not saying there's not people out there that want it, but you gotta really be distinctive and recognize and find who really want it. Because the majority of people don't want it. They've gone bad, man. They've allowed something in the world to cause them to basically sell their soul. I'm just gonna hurt motherfuckers. I'm gonna work for the devil now, basically. Because I got hurt by a woman or man, so now I'm gonna join the team of the devil and let him use me as a tool, because that's all it is. When you see the bad bitches um, playing men and using them for money and all this stuff that men do to them, that's all they doing. They're allowing the devil to use them as a tool. That's, and that's why I say that, how can that be a woman of God? She might be a nice person, but how can she be sent from God? Where she more she moving on in the devil's energy. 
a woman from God is trying to find a man to love, not trying to find a man to use and manipulate and shit. But same thing, vice versa, by the way. But the problem is, like I said, y'all, they um, are, they kind of see all people the same. They see all women and men the same. So since I got hurt or I got played, before you, before the next motherfucker do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna play the game because it's more beneficial. Why give my heart to another guy again, one guy, and only get this many benefits out of one guy and get played in the end like I did last time when I could just talk to 25,000 men and get 25,000 more benefits. You know what I mean? This is what they're doing, man. And that's what men are doing. And it's not going to stop. It does not matter how good of a woman or man you're trying to be or trying to find. You got to understand that there's other people coming in the same clothing of a good woman or man. Most men get pussy off of it, coming across as, I'm looking for a wife or blah, blah, blah. Right? If, mo if, if every player said, I ain't looking for a wife, I just want some pussy. He might get a few women. He'll get some female. He'll get females that like to sleep around too. And shit. But he ain't gonna get no woman that is looking for a relationship. She's gonna run away from that shit. They gonna fuck with that. And remember, who's more beneficial? Is the it, to the male player who's more beneficial? The female player or the woman that's trying to be a wife? Think about it. So if you're a woman that's trying to be a wife, understand that you're in a room full of vultures. Like Jay-Z said, better learn how to move in a room full of vultures. Well, you're in a globe full of vultures. Because even though I got a lot of love for all men and I don't care if they be players and shit, if you try, a lot of them, I wouldn't want my sister to date them. Because you, you, you like to fuck other women behind your girl's back. I'm not judging you for it. Do what you do. But I got to attack the problem because people out here getting hurt and shit, you know what I'm saying? And I know what it's like to be cheated on as a man trying to be with one woman. And that's usually what happens with the good the good ones who turn bad. They try to be good and they uh, got to turn bad because they got cheated on and shit like that. Try to be faithful. I think a lot of times a woman or a man finds somebody they really like you know what I mean? And they they throw out the window the fact that, yeah, you might really like the person, but that don't mean that they're going to um, wear their heart on their sleeve for you like you would for them. So you got to really screen out people and take your time with people, and they still can fit for you. But understand, like, if you're going out tonight on a date or whatever you're doing, say you're a woman going out tonight, because I know y'all got 80,000 options or whatever. Well, I mean, you know what I mean. You got men all in your face. Understand that nine times out of ten, the person you're going out on a date with probably is just trying to fuck, man. I'm just going to be honest with you, man. I'm just going to be completely honest with you. And they probably, and, and more than likely, they got other women they talk to, too. That's just the way it is, man. I mean, people act like when I make these videos, that I'm just blowing smoke. Like I'm just, what I'm saying don't exist in this world. That's crazy. Good women and men do not deserve to be hurt. They have to take heed to what I be saying and what other people be saying. You know, and, and I get a lot of game from female videos. You think I don't go online and listen to women talk to? Of course I do. It don't matter who I'm getting the game from as long as I'm getting the game. I might not agree with everything they say, but a lot of shit I'm gonna agree with. And I'm going to take it. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of people think if they're a good woman or man, like meaning they, they got their shit together and blah, blah, blah. Maybe they have Barbie doll or whatever. I think they think that that solidifies that a man's not going to do them wrong. That's not how it works. It has to be the right guy. And if you're a dude, uh, uh man, I got my shit together, dog. I got all this money. I, I'm Tom Brady, basically. I'm the hood Tom Brady. Don't matter. You, you already see Tom Brady might be losing his girl anyway. But that's kind of his fault in a way. But maybe that's a bad. Okay, Kanye West. It don't matter. You can have all that shit together and all that. They still lose a person if they're not the right one. 
Because truth be told, man, a lot of people, a lot of the reason why you see the male and female behavior out here is because other people hurt them. Hurt people hurt people. So you're no exception to the rule. They're not going to meet you one day and say, you know what? She's a good woman or he's a good man. I'm not going to hurt him. It's too late. It's too late for them. They've already got addicted to basically being the bad person. Man. And just think about this. When it comes to the good women going bad, just think about it. Now, a smart good woman, instead of going bad, she'll just flee from the bad guys, right? The guys that are on support to, right? But the women who do not flee, the reason why they end up being bad women themselves is because they have to play the game because they keep dealing with men who play the game and they know that men are playing the game. Some women get off on men who play the game. Some women think a good man is boring. I'm not ready for that. A woman could be like 24 years old, right? 25, let's say 25. And really, she kind of in a window of like five years of you need to start thinking about a family type shit. Oh, I'm not ready for that. Because she thinks in her mind that she got forever. She thinks 35 or 40 is thousands of years away. But really, that shit is right around the corner. That's why I tell women and men who are like 21, man, the time is now. The 20s is going to determine how hard, the re I ain't going to say the 20s will determine the rest of your life, but if you certain things in your 20s that you don't do, you can never do again in life if you don't do it. Joe Burrow can't go back playing football in his 30s and 40s if he doesn't take an advantage in college and, 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 and become a... a, a Pro and, and take advantage in his 20s. Michael Vick, whoever. Yeah, Michael Vick had it going on, 100 thousand, 100 mil. And then the dog charges. And, and he was never the same after that. You can't get that back, man. Just like you can't get back the bullshit and the time that the bad women and men put you through. So you've got to be sharp on your shit. And some people might say, well, if you are too sharp on your shit, that'll run people off. How they gonna love you? Because if, if the person is a, a, the right, if they not trying to play games, you can't run them off. Because there's not gonna be something that you're gonna see that's gonna make you question who they are. They're not gonna make you question them. You're not, eventually you're gonna say, you know what, I think I can trust them. They got their heart up. That's a good thing about good people. I mean, that's another thing about good people. If you're a good woman or man, and you're coming across a good woman or man, they got their heart or their guard up just like you. So it's kind of like they understand. But most people are running into um, people who are um, trying to be players and people who are hurt. So, you know, if you're looking for love that way, basically, if you're looking for love out in this world, it's going to be tough to find because most people do not have love in their hearts. They don't care, man. It's just a, it's just the truth. She texting you one day, next day you see her on Facebook hugged up in a picture with another guy. That's how it goes. Or he texting you, next thing you know. Or he inboxing you, next thing you know, he, he with his wife on a, somewhere. It's crazy. It's crazy. People don't value being with one person anymore. Right? That's just a sad truth. I think a lot of people did when they were younger. And that's why I believe like your best chance to really find a solid person probably would have been in like, you know, them high school couples that, that didn't get their heart destroyed and didn't experience with, experience with too many people and all that. And they, they was high school sweethearts and shit. Because they soul was still pure when they got with each other. And, they probably, it probably will work with them more than somebody who's been tarnished and all this other shit. But then again, you can have two people who've been through hell and don't, and, and when they meet each other, they feel like um, it's the best thing that's ever happened. And they appreciate that person even more because they've been through hell with other women and men. So it can go that way too. But I guess that's all I'm going to say, man. Um, most, most women and men are, are bad, man. They're all bad, man. They're not bad people. See, that's the problem with a lot of y'all. Y'all cannot decipher the fact that, well, it's a good, he's a cool dude. So, nah, never him. Yes, him. 
Just because he's a good dude don't mean he's not going to just smash and, and dash or some shit. Just because she's a good woman don't mean she's not going to play you. Or should I say good person? My bad, let me say that again. Just because he's a good, uh, yeah, good dude or a good, uh, good uh, woman. Well, not a good woman in the sense of relationship-wise, but a good person. That don't mean she don't cheat or don't cheat on her boyfriend or something like that. That's, that's where we get it twisted. We think, well, if only horrible people cheat and lie and all that, that's not true. Because cheating and all that shit is a choice. Dealing with multiple women or men or deciding to just try to try one is a choice. And I'm here to tell you most people are not trying to do that. Perhaps it's just a, a sign of people not growing up. I don't know. Everybody got their different reasons. I don't want to judge why a person decides that they want multiple women and men instead of one. But to me, that's just a headache. I mean, it's going to be hard enough to keep one woman happy and shit. Why the fuck would I want to deal with 10 different women and they all talking to other men and you you might have certain type of feelings towards that? Fuck all that. Your tires getting slapped, your, your window getting busted out. Yeah, man, hell nah, man. I'd rather must be at home, like, about to get out of work and go chill with a the woman. Just, that's all mine, man. Y'all, I don't understand why people don't cherish this shit. I really don't. I don't know why they cherish going out men for the streets over having that solid ass female or uh, male at home. I don't get it. Now we're not talking about people who are wanting their cake and eat it too. We're not talking about them. Because that's the reason why a lot of people don't want to do this shit in the first place. Because they tried the, the house shit and then they got played so now they don't want to do it. But if you get game, if you're a woman or a man and you get game, game cannot be ran on you. See, the players use the game, the female and male players use the game. They misuse the game. All game is is knowledge, red pill, whatever you want to call it. But you, if you're a good woman or man, don't use it to uh, misuse people. Just use it so they can't misuse you. Because there is a thing called karma, a.k.a. the most high. So all these women, these bad women, these women doing bad and all these men doing bad, they got paid for that. And, and truth be told, that's, what, that's the reason why a lot of them continue to be bad. Their life is getting so fucked up that they just don't give a fuck about their life, their self. So therefore, they don't give a fuck about other women and men. And they just keep piling on karma. After karma, after karma, after karma. I'm going to use this nigga in the hotel, girl. I'm going to set him up. And then karma got to come. You see? I'm just going to use these men for what they got. Well, karma got to come. You going to meet a guy you actually like? Uh, I think I'm done. I think I'm done um, sleeping around for a while. Let me let me try this guy. I like him. And then now karma got to come. And that's how it goes. And that's one of the biggest reasons why bad women and men are the way they are. Because... Because... They constantly serve in a karma system because they refuse to do what's right. So they keep serving the karma system. Man. It ain't gonna get no better for them, man. Cheating in the line and shit, fake love, trying to manipulate people like you care about them and want them, to just to get benefits from them and all that crazy shit. That's too much work for me. Trying to lie and deceive to get a woman to sleep with you, that's just too much. I ain't never had to do that and I never will. Never will. But I'm gonna get off here, y'all, man. I'm almost uh, back. I don't sick today, so I, I couldn't move as fast as I normally do, but I just I just hope all good women and men understand that today in 2022, the majority of if you're a good woman or man, or trying to be and trying to find one, right? When I say good woman or man, I mean like really, not a good person, you know, but I still cheat and lie, you know, a good woman or man. Understand, 
that the majority, I'm going to say about 95% of other women and men are not good. And they're not trying to be good. And they're not going to change. It's only going to get worse. So I suggest you figure out who's who so you don't end up becoming one of those bad women and men. Because they are bad women and men now because they've been done wrong by the opposite sex so much. To the point they just, it's better just being a player, fuck. And as far as the women taking up for women all the time, y'all gotta stop that. If y'all really care about women becoming better and empowered and better as a group, then stop taking up for the women who are doing wrong. You can't do that. The reason why I come at men for the bullshit and the fuckery, because I see the greatness. I believe every man has greatness in him. So I'm going to touch on it to try to bring it out of motherfuckers. If it work, it work. If it don't, it don't. But I would never act like, you know what, men, go ahead and just get any woman pregnant and leave women single mothers. It, it don't matter. Because I'm a man and I'm going to act like it doesn't matter. And I'm just going to take up for it. You know what I mean? That's crazy. I'm going to act like every man in the world don't do shit wrong to women. Because I'm a man and I wanna, I, I'm going to take up for the women. That's, that's foolish. Because part of the reason why the women are the way they are is because of the men. But for some reason, when it comes to women, it's, they still have not figured out that most men are the way they are towards women. And it might not be your fault. You might be a, a, a real solid ass good woman. The reason why most men are the way they are is because of other females. Man. It's the truth. So the next time you hear the word woman, stop and think. Before you just, oh man, you talking about women, man, I'm mad. All women ain't the same, remember? All men ain't the same, remember? If you think there ain't no women out here playing games and doing men dirty and all this other shit, then you're sadly mistaken. And the ones that they are hurting and using the most are good men. So when women say, there's a shortage of good, where's all the good men at? Yeah, yeah, there they go. Where's all the good men at? If only women realize that most of the female players that, that be doing their bullshit, they're going after good men because that's the ones that are vulnerable. Yeah, they fuck the so-called players and shit, but when they, when, when, but the player's not going to get hurt because he's a player. I mean, every now and then a player gets hurt. All right, we get it. But for the most part, a player's not going to get hurt because he's playing the game. He's already chewing the towel. He don't care about being a good man. He just want to fuck, right? So if there's no good men left, you got to ask yourself, or where's all the good men at? You got to ask yourself, why is it so short and getting shorter and shorter? Because the women that y'all are taking up for, you know, the bad women, the players, they got it. They're going after the good men, the ones that'll fly her over here and, 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 and Saudi as fuck because she don't want to fuck you. Of course she don't, because she want to fuck the bad guy. But you was dumb enough to fly her over there. The bad guy ain't doing that. The bad guy ain't doing half the shit the good guy is doing. But she's fucking the bad guy. But the female player is going to go after the, the men who are vulnerable. Same thing vice versa. When men say, where's all the good women at? The players, once they're done fucking, but matter of fact, they're not even going, they going to pick the good women over the female player first anyway because they're more vulnerable to give men what they want. So before you just yell at all women and say that it's all women, man. No, it's just all women, they just do all men wrong. And then don't look at men on the flip side, you're doing the same thing women are doing. I am not a fool. I know, like if a woman, let's say I go out tonight and a woman stole out of my car or something. I already know that some guy had done her wrong. I'm almost positive. That's why she is the way she is towards men. I'm not going to just say, man, it's just women, man. They just ain't shit. I know it's the men that ain't shit, too. But the bad, the bad women have done a good job of convincing good women 
that um, they all the same. They on the same team. She's not on your team, man. The bad female player is not on the so-called I want to be wise team. She wants to take the men that you want, that, that might be available to you. All those, you know, where's the good men at? She want to get them before you get to them. Before you get to them. Because they, they know that the men are looking for you, the so-called good woman that want to be the wife. He, he's not looking for her. She knows that. Matter of fact, she comes in, in the um, clothing of you. That's probably why you think she's on her your side. She has to come in the clothing of you. That's the only way she can deceive the man. A female player can't come up, you know what, I'm a bad bitch player, man. Uh, Cash me, fly me to uh, here or there. She can't do that. She got to say that I'm looking for love. I'm a wife. I'm this. She got to come in the, uh, the clothing of uh, the real women who are actually trying to be wise. Man. Same thing men do. That's how most men get sex from women, man. Trying to make it seem like they looking for uh, uh, a relationship or, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just stupid, man. But hey, I just hope y'all realize this and I hope y'all take this shit to heart. And time, man, time will always reveal if the motherfucker really wants some bullshit or not, man. And if you're a good person, the most high gonna show you somebody uh, playing you or not. He always will. You know, some women might think, I've had it in my past. Oh, he'll never find out that I'm doing this. How would he know? I had a woman basically tell me, how would the man know if I cheated? God will let him know. The problem is that the man believes that what God has shown him or not. Same thing with the females. The most high shows you the red flag, man. It's on you to take heed or not. The Most High does not want good people to get hurt by bad people, man. He's on your side. That's why he shows you the red flag. Or that's why he comes to you in a dream, but she cheats. Because technically, once you have sex with a woman, you, you become one. So, if, let's say I had sex with a woman, right? And then she started going back fucking her ex. The Most High gonna come to me in that dream and show me. I promise you, it never fails. Let's say I'm with, in a relationship with a woman. The Most High will come to me in a dream showing me that she's sleeping with another guy. It's weird though because it'd be that same dream but you can't see the guy's face. That's the weird part about it. Like I never see the guy's face but what's going on is legit and it, it's never been wrong. I don't know if women experience this shit or not. If, if, if the Most High don't come to them in dreams and show them that somebody was cheating or not, but man, 99.9% of the time, that shit is authentic as fuck. All right, I'm gonna leave y'all alone, man. Like, this shit been going too long, man. Um, good women and good men need to be on each other's side, man. It's not about gender. Y'all gotta realize this shit, man. Cause y'all good women, y'all jumping on the side of the bad women. You know what I mean? It's, it's like, leave that poor bad woman alone. How dare you talk about women? But you don't realize what that bad woman is doing to us men that, that make them look at all of y'all women the same. And then when you as a good woman come across a man trying to love him, now he just want to play you. Because all these bad women that you take up for made him believe that all y'all the same. Same thing, vice versa. I already know what time it is. If I come across a woman and she starts buckery and playing around, I already know that hey, she must be used to them dummies. She must be used to them bad boys. Goodbye. Because I'm not suffering for them. I didn't do you wrong. And you as a good woman, why why you deserve to suffer for the bad women? We've been brainwashed to believe that it's about gender, man. When it's about unity. Woman and man, that's what it's really about. So to me, all the bad women and men, stay to get them, get them over there. Stop being benefits to them. If you're a good woman or a good man, stop being benefits to the bad ones, the players. They need you way more than you need them. So what we need to do is, we need to do that Beyonce, Jay-Z type shit. Take all our fucking eggs and put it in, in, together in a basket for each other instead of being a benefit to this guy and this one and this one or this girl and this girl and this girl fuck all that 
save all that shit when somebody deserves it. Like you a woman. Why are you sleeping with this one, this one, and this one, and this one? Fuck that. Get that vibrator, whatever fuck you get. And, and don't fuck nobody that don't deserve it. Plain and simple. Plain and simple, man. Like, I ain't never been married. And I don't want to be married more than once. So I'll wait as long as I fucking got to. Until I really know, like, yep, I'll marry this one. If that don't happen, it ain't happening. But I'm glad I've never been married because I saved that for a woman if I ever do get married. I experienced that with her for the first time ever. She would be my first wife and hopefully only wife. But I could have been married people. But I didn't, and it's a good thing because I'd have been divorced. I don't want to be divorced. I want my wife to I want my wife to be my first wife, my only. That's it. Theory, more blank. Nothing. If you get divorced and get married again, I'm not knocking that. But me personally, I mean, if you could avoid it, like if you could avoid having kids out of wedlock or divorce and all that, try to avoid it. And the only way we're really going to avoid it is to understand that there's way more bad women than men out here on bullshit than there is good ones. But we, um, the signals get crossed when the bad women and men get offended or, or take a stand and say, man, I, you can't judge me. This, you're right. I'm not saying you're a bad person. But when it comes to loving and relationships and shit, you don't move the right way. And that's fine. But what we got to do as good women and men is stay away from those people. There's women and men you're attracted to that are good, that want one woman or one man. Don't ever think that you got, well, I just got to settle for the players because all men in the whole world cheat. That's a lie. Because I, I don't, I wouldn't want to cheat if I got a woman I'm with. I'm right here telling you as a man, right here, right now. And I'm not some ugly ass man or something that no woman wants. That's not true, man. Every man don't cheat and every woman don't cheat. If you're a good woman watching this, you know that's not true because you know you don't cheat. All right, y'all, I'm going to let y'all go, man.